So if you do a lot of mobile field work, you may occasionally find yourself in need of an oscilloscope, which they did not used to be field mobile, but I have found myself lately in need of one more and more, and I decided to get one. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I did a little research, and I went out, and I got one, and I don't know if my research is good or bad, but basically what we're going to do is test out this oscilloscope. Uh, it is also a signal generator, so you can generate signal pulses with it, so it says. So you can simulate, like say, a pulse sender for a tachometer or a speedometer, things like that. Let's see what we've got. So we've got this, I don't even know how to pronounce it, I'm not sure. Fenersi, Fenersi, I don't know. 2C53T. I decided to get this basically because it's really cheap. And if you know me and if you've watched my channel before, you'll know that that's a high priority for me. Is it always a good thing? Well, sometimes you find little gems that you might not have found if you weren't willing to risk cheap. As you can see, this is brand new. I just opened it today, still sealed up. Like I said, I don't know what's going to happen with this. Rather than read the instructions the proper way, I'm just going to dig right... Oh, that's handy. Okay, so it's got a stand. That's nice. I do like this padded carrying case because things get abused out in the field. Is this in English? Oh, okay, we do have an English version. Okay, that's, that's a good thing. I believe this has a rechargeable battery in it. The owner man owner's manual will tell me that. I haven't charged it, so maybe I need to. Yeah, I don't know. Let's turn it on and see what our battery's like. What is this? It's not quite a quality control. We don't need that. Okay, power. Okay, we're powering up. English. Okay, so you have different functions in here. Oscilloscope, signal generator. You have your settings. You, uh, you, uh, one, one reason I got this is you can use this as a multimeter. So if you're just taking a few tools from your truck and walking half a mile into a mud pit to get to a piece of equipment, you don't have to take this and a meter. So <laughs> that was a big selling point for me, one of the reasons that I picked it. So you got, a, uh, you got all those functions. You have language, sound and light, start up on boot, auto shut down, probably got a timer on it. Yeah, so right now it's off. So USB sharing, don't know. I guess you can plug it into a computer. Factory reset. And uh, forgive me here because I don't know a lot about oscilloscopes. So what we're going to test today is this signal uh, generator. This is a pulse generator. It's supposed to work both in forward and reverse. I need to hook this up to power and signal. So we've got USB cord to charge it. I really have to get a power inverter in my truck, but you can just charge it from your truck if you want. So this is a two channel. Uh, these are probes for your meter. This is your oscilloscope probe, some such thing. I don't know. Okay, and we've got, okay, we've got an alligator clip also in addition to the probe, I guess. But it's got a hook. It's got a hook probe on it. Uh, hook your wire, you can just, just like that. So we're gonna use channel one here. Just locks in just like that. Something I forgot, you gotta calibrate this thing when you first turn it on and you basically hold a long hold on the auto button and it'll go through like a two minute calibration process. Don't forget that, but this isn't a how-to video or anything. This is just a, does this, how does this function work in the field kind of thing, so. But just be aware, you should calibrate it when you first fire it up. Let's see what setup we have. We're only using channel one. So we want to turn off channel two because it's just a distraction. So, so you you can you can see the signal it's outputting. So there's our pulses. If I slow it down, you can see the frequency increases. The frequency of the pulses increases. Let's run it in reverse. Exact same output. So that's about 1500 RPM on the drill there, and at 
16 pulses per revolution. So anyway, if you've ever wondered what one of these sensors for a tachometer or a speedometer looks like, that's what the waveform looks like. So you can see, basically, if you're going to be using this in the field, you're going to be doing something like, you know, does the sensor work? Um, if you want to really dig into it and figure out like how many pulses per revolution say that the sensor is putting out this is going to be a little hard to do it if you're looking for a signal from a sensor and it, this is just a particular sensor that spins some of them you know aren't going to but they will generate some kind of signal or waveform that needs to be interpreted and you need to know if it's working or working correctly and this will give you a good feel for it out in the field and at the very least you can tell if a sensor is working because you can measure more than just, you know, is it outputting voltage or not. You can actually measure the waveform and see physically what it's outputting. So this is very useful for something like that, and it's very portable. Let's test the meter function. So we're going to try to measure volts. This will do amps and everything else along with it. Let's just take these right off our probes. That one's bent right out of the gate. That's fine. Bend it back. I'm going to measure this 12-volt battery I have over here. Twelve point eight volts. That is accurate. I do like this output screen, so you can change it from auto. You can manually select what you want to do. So it'll do volts. It'll do uh, a continuity tests with a beeper there. Ohms, capacitance. It'll do temperature. Um, not quite sure how you measure that. I guess with the probe. Uh, milliamps. DC small current, DC high current, that's how they're dividing it, so milliamps and amps. I don't know what the, I guess the high current is 10 amps because of the limit here, so it's just like a standard meter, but this has uh, a save function and stuff, and I imagine you can save like waveforms and stuff and then graph them with your computer. Mostly for field techs, probably what you're going to be doing is just, you know, quick testing and troubleshooting in the field, and there's something really, really wrong you're going to be doing it in a shop or with, you know, bigger and better equipment than this. This is going to mainly be for field testing purposes. So I, I like the accuracy of this meter. And it seems to be really accurate because it wasn't like jumping around all over the place. Um, it's got a little bit of trace voltage there. It's hard to get away from that for the meters. But if I put this on here, I've got it on there with alligator clips. You can see how well it's holding. Uh, it's not, it's not very jumpy and seems to be pretty good in that respect. A big beef I have with digital meters these days is they're very jumpy. That's why sometimes I carry an analog meter to use for that. So let's test, uh, let's test continuity here. Very good. Let's test resistance. Let's test the resistance of this alligator clip here. 0.57 ohms and again it's not jumping around just a little bit but and down here this is nice most most features won't most mean standard cheap meters won't give you this a max a mean and a min which is pretty cool when you can probably yep for each one of those you can look at max mean and minimum as you measure things so this is handy i think this was like a little over a hundred dollars uh from i don't know what website probably the jungle website or Maybe Flea Bay, one of those things there. So comes with all the proper t uh, covers and caps and everything, so you don't stab your fingers out. These are nice sharp probes. You got to be careful with that. But it's got some. It's got some things. It's got oh, it's got like a hand probe in there. Interesting. It's got some things in here. And oh, what's this? Probe characteristics. So this will tell you, you can compensate for the probe itself and its operating characteristics. They give you a spec sheet for it, which is really nice, because for an oscilloscope, that's important. And it tells you how to use all this stuff, you know. For people like me who are dummies and new to this kind of thing, I haven't used an oscilloscope in probably 24, 23 years. So... <laughs> We had nothing like this back then. We were using the big, anything we had were the big bench models, you know. Uh, this is completely new. And I think if you take care of this and, you know, don't beat around just too much and everything, I think this would be a great field, little field unit to carry around, especially with this cushioned case. 
because it has it has a lot of padding in here and for people like me who abuse stuff like i said before i think that's great so, yeah i think this is going to be a cool little thing and i will keep you updated and let you know obviously if anything breaks on this or stops working or you know if the tolerances get you know if it starts to fluctuate around as it gets older and things like that but and again i just did some just quick research bought this and not sponsored in any way shape or form so you know obviously make your own decisions here but usb charging so nice so i'm gonna take this make sure it's fully charged before i put it on my truck and this is going to be a great little portable field unit i think because i have had a need for this but i have had to kind of um make do with the regular meter and what i had so i think this is going to do the trick great but like i said i'll let you know if it doesn't all right so i just want to say I did try the signal generator uh, to make a te tachometer work and either I can't get the right waveform or it's not putting out a very good signal and in watching some other things on this, some background and some videos, the signal generator on this isn't very good. So just be aware of that if you buy this. There's one guy who compared it on an actual like full scale highly calibrated oscilloscope and it, it wasn't it wasn't very good at all so just know that going into this that the signal generator itself isn't tremendously great so i also i want to note for this video this isn't a big in-depth you know how to use this or anything this is kind of basically how does it work for a tech in the field and will it do what i'm trying to do if i'm going to buy it that kind of thing there are plenty of videos out there at least i found a couple on a quick search of how do you operate this thing and how well does it work you know in a lab environment you know as an oscilloscope or as a signal generator or as a meter you know that kinds of things but uh for you know field troubleshooting and things for your field track tech the average person who's going to use this compact handheld design you know how does it function that's kind of my thing not how does it work or instructional videos or anything like that so you know, if you're a field tech or something this part might interest you but if you're using it in a lab probably not so like i said this video is not sponsored in any way shape or form uh, i do these all on my own just kind of as a general hey here's what you can get and no one has any effect on these things but me and as time goes on, if something malfunctions or goes wrong with this in the field, I'll let you know. Um, on past things, I have said that, and I haven't had to do any updates because nothing has really failed. My meters that I did a while back, they're still cruising along great. They work fantastic. And that was like a Viver. I did a while a Viver meter a while back, and uh, it's still working great. Uh, I haven't had... I have zero problems with it, and I'm usually abusive to equipment, which is why I get some cheaper things, but if anything happens with this, I'll let you know, but as always, stay tuned for more of these. I try to intersperse these with some of my videos as I encounter new equipment, because it's kind of hard to find good, unsponsored, unbiased reviews out there, and I like to think mine are unbiased, so uh, I try anyway. <laughs> you know, I don't, certainly don't make any money from anybody. <laughs> Feel free to like comment subscribe if you know a better one or anything you now um, if you know anything about these good bad whatever I think these are still relatively maybe newer on the market I'm not sure but because again I don't know much about oscilloscopes so you know take this just at face value but if you know anything leave a comment down there below and feel free to like comment subscribe if you want to see more of these as they come out interspersed with our regular content videos on the channel and as always thanks for watching